Hey everybody, I'm the Will of DC. Find out how to enable the new YouTube homepage and I'll give you a walkthrough of it on today's YouTube news. The main thing I want to talk about today is the new YouTube homepage, which doesn't launch until January 1, but thanks to Mashable, you can take advantage of right now. It's a simple little process. I'm going to put the link down in the description, click down there to go to the Mashable article where it's just like some keystrokes, some coding that you put in. Right now it only works on Firefox and Chrome, so anyone using Internet Explorer or something lame like that, you're not going to get to see the new YouTube homepage, but all the cool people on Firefox and Chrome, you can go see the YouTube homepage right now, the new one which launches January 1st, link down in the description, and let's look at it together. So I'm going to be showing you my homepage because I've enabled the new YouTube homepage and let's start off with the basic design aspects of it. YouTube's homepage for a long time has been very row based. It's been rows of the subscriptions and rows of the categories and everything. It has now changed and become column based. It's like a complete 180, complete reversal. We go from rows to now columns and so let's start off with the very left hand side column. What you're going to see is the very top thing, add channel. So now they're very actively wanting people to add channels. You can click it and it's going to take you to all different ways to find channels and subscribe channels which I think is a really cool interesting idea kudos to you YouTube for ad channels being very high placement there you know the first thing that your eye sees hopefully will encourage a lot of people to subscribe and use their subscription mechanism because I've seen a slow death of the subscription module for a long time and this might be something that could reverse that trend and kind of revive it so that's very exciting and then under the ad channels you've got your channel you see your big icon and you know your history your channel your likes your favorites your everything like that and then right below that you've got my subscriptions you click the my subscriptions tab and let's go over one column to see the feed where you normally you would expect to see you know all the subscriptions all the videos you're subscribed to. No, no, it's the entire activity feed. And in the old YouTube homepage, you could click away and just see subscribers or you just see your subscription box instead of seeing your entire activity feed. I have not been able to find a way to do that. All I can do is see the entire activity feed. And let me be honest about it, the activity feed is kind of junk in my opinion. When I subscribe to somebody, I want to see the subscriptions. You know, I don't need to see, you know, 10 million, you know, friends on YouTube, what they're liking and favoriting. You know, that's a great way of curating content. And I think that YouTube networks will Will very much take advantage of that like Machinima and Maker Studios and Big Frame and Full Screen, you know, having people in the network liking and favoriting and pushing things out. But just, you know, as a consumer of video, it's like I don't need to see an entire activity feed with bulletins and all this other, to be honest, junk. So I really want to see that change and kind of like just see the subscription boxes. But anyways, going back over to our original column, you'll see in alphabetical order all the people you are subscribed to, which is an interesting way of doing things. I wonder if you could, you know, maybe if you could tweak it where your favorite subscribers, you could, you know, put them up there. But right now, now it's just you know alphabetically based and then under the alphabetically based subscription system you'll see from YouTube and that is what you see when you're not logged in when you're not logged into YouTube all you see is the from YouTube stuff which is trending videos obviously algorithmically based videos they're doing really well right now and you know going getting a lot of views and trending and then most popular which is most viewed videos of the day and that that seems to be par for the course for you know how a home page is on YouTube it's gonna be trending videos and most viewed videos and you can now click that while you're signed in and if you're not signed in that's all you see you know I'm, I'm you know it's it's expected you know you want to see some new new talent new blood you want to see some curation but you know mo trending and most popular is what drives the business on YouTube so that is definitely something that deserves homepage placement and then finally rounding out the bottom of the column is suggested channels things that YouTube thinks that you should subscribe to based on what you're already subscribed to and here's the kicker though what's not a part of this column what's not part of this new homepage the premium content the premium channels a hundred million hundred and fifty million dollars spent in investing on these premium channels and there's no homepage placement I thought the only thing that was going to be on the homepage was the premium channels. I'm very concerned about this and I think anyone that had invested in the channels or has invested channels should be worried about this. How are these channels going to be seen and get views? Like the, the only way they were, they were going to be seen and gotten views is if they were on the homepage and now they're not on the homepage. This is worrisome. I don't know if this is a finished design or what's going on here, but uh, definitely weird. Anyways, now moving on to the other columns. We've already looked at the activity feed column and the final column to the very right is recommended videos. It's stuff that you've either already seen or videos that are related to stuff you've already seen. So it's just kind of trying to cultivate even more of what you like and what YouTube thinks algorithmically based you'll also like. So it's an interesting way of curating for the lower talent videos that don't have as many views, you know, a way of searching for stuff that you like that doesn't really get seen a lot. Definitely has the potential to be really awesome. I'm glad that it's got a whole column to itself right on the homepage. I have high hopes for that. 
And now I know probably a major question for you all is how do I get to just my subscriptions? I don't want to see that middle column activity feed. How do I just get to my subscriptions? Well, you click that manage button and bam, it takes you to the subscriptions page where all you see is all the new videos uploaded by people you're subscribed to. It's going to be really difficult for me to kind of get adjusted to that because I have always just, you know, kind of clicked YouTube, clicked the home page. I don't have to do this additional click just to get to videos from people that I'm subscribed to. I don't like that feature. I think it's very flawed. Whenever you have to do an additional click, it really kills traffic. It kills views. No one likes to take an additional click to get information. So I think that, you know, as much as they're trying to revive subscriptions with, you know, add a channel, having to click extra to get to videos you're subscribed to, uh, it's like one step forward, two steps back a little bit. I'm not sure how I feel about all of that. But in a nutshell, that's the new homepage. And if you haven't checked out Cosmic Panda yet, you definitely need to enable it now because it looks so good now. It's definitely gotten tons and tons of improvements. I'll just put up a few screen caps of things that I think looks really cool. I think the video player is really cool. You can have auto playing now, which has been such a big deal that they didn't have auto play. You can auto play now. And I just think it looks much sleeker. And just when you enable the new homepage, the video page changes a little bit. Comments look a little bit better to me. Um, they've got the new ways of popping open videos and making videos bigger and play differently. And, and when you get into your you know uh, settings and you're you know, you're looking at your own channel I, I just really like the way everything seems to be getting a nice sleek design there's definitely some issues that need to be fixed definitely more feedback needs to be given before January 1 when all of this becomes permanent so as always feedback 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 I'll put links down in the description where you can do that but um yeah I, I'm a fan I'm a fan YouTube you you, you brought you brought it back to me I, I love you again I love all that this is happening I'm very excited for January 1 2012 on YouTube and that's all I've got for you this week. Thank you so much for watching YouTube News. As always, remember to leave your comments down below, rate, thumbs up, and subscribe. Send to your friends if you loved it. And a massive congratulations to Daystorm, Christina Grimmie, and Carmen for being honored by the AMAs last night. That was so awesome. And uh, no uh, winners and losers this week because of Thanksgiving. Go spend with your friends, your families, anyone you love. Hope you have an awesome Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a great weekend. Have a great week, great Thanksgiving. See you next Tuesday for YouTube News. Bye, everybody.